There is no light in earth or heaven but the cold light of stars. And the first watch of the night is given to the red planet Mars. Maine poet Henry Wadsworth Longfellow penned these famous lines in 1838. If his writing is any indication, he was enamored with Maine's night sky. If alive today, he'd be in good company. This is called Donkey Universe Farms, and this is Galaxy Quest Observatory. The land was bought with the express purpose of escaping Camden's light pollution. Jacob Gerritsen is a member of the Central Maine Astronomical Society, and tonight, at his private observatory in Lincolnville, he's hosting a star party. I just recently, today, took receipt of a night vision telescope that I'm going to marry with adapters to this telescope to see hydrogen alpha emitting nebulae in the sky, and I'm super excited about that. You may think it's extraordinary that he built his own observatory with a removable roof. Okay, so turn, turn. But many amateur astronomers meld ingenuity with their hobby, constructing telescopes and buildings to house them. If we're gonna look at Saturn to start, or that's, it's gonna be there. For some people, it's very scientific. For others, it's very religious, looking at the creation. But I think everyone is, is awed by, by the beauty. We've got Venus already. Astronomy clubs throughout Maine gather on a regular basis to share telescopes, knowledge, and laughter. You can go online and look at more detailed views of everything that we're going to look at tonight. No problem. But there's something different about seeing it with your own eyes right there. And the other thing to understand is that there's a lot to see up there. You could spend a lifetime just seeing new things all the time, so it never gets old. Most of Maine features a lot of trees and very few people. That means very little light pollution in some of the darkest skies in the eastern U.S. But don't let the term dark skies fool you. Maine skies are dazzling, filled with countless stars in the glittering band of the Milky Way. There's not enough overt appreciation for dark skies. We can see things in Maine that you can't see even just a few hundred miles away in the cities because the light pollution just obscures them. In a world filled with electric lights, dark skies have become a precious resource. In 1988, a nonprofit organization called Dark Sky International was founded in the U.S. to raise awareness about light pollution. In 2019, Maine jumped on board with its own chapter. In the following year, Maine's Katahdin Woods and Waters National Monument became the first international dark sky place certified in New England.